So in the report that we see here, the first thing you see is this green chart. That is the solar production shown through the day. And that's what you'd see if you didn't have a consumption meter. If you look at the various data on the screen around, there's the solar production, nearly 49 kilowatt hours for the day. Uh, consumption of nearly 42 and a half kilowatt hours for the day. Uh, imports from the grid, what the customer actually ended up paying for, uh, just over 5 kilowatt hours for the day, and self-consumption 37, exports 11. So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at that in a little bit more detail. So let's start with exports. That is basically what has been sent back to the grid for a feed-in tariff payment in excess of what the house actually needed. So really all that little green area is showing is there's a small amount of exports going in, going out to the grid, 11.46 kilowatt hours. What we'll look at now, if we take all of those off and just put in the consumption, this is the electricity used in the house. So you turn on your air conditioner as this customer pretty much clearly has on this hot day in Perth. Um, uh, that That is going to be showing up as this red chart, 24 hours a day, um, whatever you're using in the house. However, let's see what the solar contributed. Well, it contributed most of it. Of, of the 42 and a half kilowatt hours that, that was consumed in the house, the solar contributed 37, leaving the customer to only pay five. And that's really the value of a consumption meter. It shows you what you're using. You can adjust your usage, usage accordingly. You can tell the kids to turn the air conditioner off. They, uh, they're not boiling, they can survive. Um, but in particular, what's helpful is when the customer wants to have a battery. So there's the battery charging in this particular case. It's a Huawei hybrid inverter and it's got a battery connected. There's a battery charging and it's charging from the solar. And then when the, uh, the battery needs to discharge, that's the battery discharging. So as the solar is, is running down and the customer's loads are still fairly high, uh, the battery is contributing to that until presumably, although this is the previous day, but theoretically uh, at, at around two o'clock, the battery is empty uh, in the morning, ready to be recharged for the next day. So that is the value of consumption meters. A few hundred dollars will potentially save you thousands later because you can determine whether you need a 5, a 10, a 15, a 20, a 25 or whatever kilowatt hour battery and batteries are expensive. So getting the right size battery is going to save you thousands down the track. I hope that uh, has helped you. Uh, understand what consumption meters do. This is Andrew from Solar Forever. If you have any questions, please contact me via email. Thank you.